Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am creating a little card using some Heffy Doodle products today. I wanted to join their Facebook page challenge, which was all about flower power, um, but I don't have too many Heffy Doodle sets, so I had to think a little outside the box. This is their Bots of Love stamp set, and I used that to create my own custom background pattern paper. So I cut a piece of cardstock to four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then I used this little corner rounder to round the corners. And um, then I started stamping, <laughs> obviously, using some of these cogs from the Bots of Love stamp set because I thought they looked a little bit like flowers. So I'm starting with this kind of bigger one and using some Lawn Fawn Guava ink. When I'd finished with that, I used some Lawn Fawn Lemonade ink and this kind of smaller one that has a little heart inside it and just kind of filled in a few of the gaps. Uh, I went ahead and finished all of that off screen. Then I went in with this kind of um, pixelated heart and some Lawn Fawn Chili Pepper ink and I um, kind of spread that around everywhere as well. It's always lots of fun to make these pattern papers. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm never sure I'm very good at it, but it's okay. Uh, now I'm using some Aqua Sky Concord and Ninth ink, and I took this little heart from veggie, the Veggie Patch stamp set. There's actually three hearts in that stamp set. Um, so I used the middle size one to go inside the little cogs, and then the smallest one to kind of fill in the spaces. And this is using sea glass ink. So then I took my little robots and the kind of flower <laughs> and stamped them out on some transitype perfect coloring paper using my Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. And this is a good Copic friendly ink. So I stamped that out a few times to get a nice crisp image. So um, I did just smear my ink, I don't know if you noticed that, I did smear my ink a little bit on my background panel, but you know what, guess what, that's where my sentiment's going to go. <laughs> so um, I didn't worry too much about cleaning that up. So I'm going in with my N markers, N6, N4, N2 and N0 to colour in um, some parts of my robot that I want to look like metal. And then I'm going to use some colors that kind of match the pattern paper that I've created. So um, I'm using some yellows and some pinks and a tiny bit of red as well. So I'm just doing my usual method of going in with my darkest marker, blending out with my next one. I'm using four markers this time um, to give a nice contrast. So go in with my N6 first, then my N4, then my N2 and then my N0. I did only do one coat on each, um, I thought because of all the different um, markers using four markers, it kind of blended out quite nicely anyway. Uh, so I really like these little robots, they're kind of cute and um, yeah, there's something really sweet about them. <laughs> uh, I like the little kind of um, shine marks in their eye, and I did try to go around that with my marker to make sure uh, that they stood out. And that was me just turning on my light because I realized I'd completely forgotten to turn my light on, <laughs> which always helps when you're coloring. Um, but yeah, this card was a lot of fun to make. I made it because I wanted to join in the Heffy Doodle Flower Power Challenge, which is on their Facebook group. I've just discovered their Facebook group, um, mostly because I went and ordered um, a few new stamp sets from them the other day. Um, there's so much on their website, but I fell in love with one of their stamp sets called Popping By. And I went on their website to have a look and I just saw so many other ones that I really, really liked and kind of caved and got a few. Um, there are loads more that I want to get in their new release, but I, <laughs> I need to wait for payday. So um, yeah, I've, I've only got a, a, I've got about four sets of Heffy Doodles that I've had for a little while um, and I've not really used them recently. But when I went on their website and had a look at all the amazing things and then saw that they had a Facebook group and then saw that they had a challenge, <laughs> I couldn't resist and I decided that I just had to kind of play along. Uh, like I said, I had to think outside the box a little because the challenge title is Flower Power 
and I don't have any flower stamp sets in my uh, few sets that I have. So um, I had to use these little cogs instead to look a little bit like flowers. So hopefully that's okay. It's bending the rules a little bit maybe. Um, so I went in with Y04 and Y08 for my other little robot and then R27 for the heart. And then I used the same N6, N4, N2 and N0 for this little robot. And now I'm going in with some RV markers. So I think it was RV25, RV23 and RV21, I'm going to say. I will list the, the colours below, so if I've got any of those wrong, um, you can check out below to make sure that you get the right colours if you want to replicate this one. Um, these are nice kind of bright um, pink colours and yeah, I want, like I say, I wanted to go with colours that matched the pattern paper that I created. So that's why I chose these colours. Um, I realised that robots probably really aren't pink and yellow, but then again, they could be. <laughs> so I just wanted to make them nice and bright and happy and fun and just kind of have a little bit of fun with this one. It was a very quick and easy card to create and I had a lot of fun making it. Um, I'm going to be honest, I don't think it's my best work. <laughs> um, I think it, yeah, it, it's lacking but it's okay you know it's it's fine I had fun and that's the main thing so uh, that's all you can ask from your crafting really isn't it so once I'd finished with the pink I went back in with R27 and R24 to fill in the little heart on her and then I did my little flower so for my flower I used my N markers again so this time I think I just used N2 and N0. Yep, yeah. oh, look at that, I got it right. Um, and I just did the leaf and the stem in those colours. Um, I don't know what was going on with my colouring today. I was going all outside of the lines, everywhere, but that's okay. I ended up taking my um, colourless blender to blend out all those uh, mistakes that I'd made. I used Y08 in the centre of my flower and then went back in with my RV markers just the same colours that I'd used on the other robot to fill in the flower so that everything coordinated and was all kind of the same colour scheme. Once I'd done all my colouring, I went ahead and fussy cut these off camera. As usual, I don't have the coordinating dies, so I just had to um, fussy cut them. But I don't mind doing that too much. I actually find it quite relaxing and um, yeah, it's it's not so hard. <laughs> uh, obviously matching dies would be great, it would save a bit of time, but I don't mind fussy cutting. Um, I kind of enjoy it and find it quite relaxing. So here I am just using my colourless blender to get rid of all those mistakes that I've made. And as always, I went in with my um, white jelly roll pen, just to add some highlights to my little critters, not critters, robots. <laughs> Uh, like I always like to do, I just think this makes them look a little bit more three-dimensional, a little bit more fun and a little bit more playful, I suppose. Um, it kind of gives them a bit more of a cartoonish look. So then it was time for the fussy cutting, as I said, which I did all off camera. And after that, it was on to assembling my card. So here's my finished pattern paper and now I'm taking this Lawn Fawn Lacy Heart Stackables and cutting the mid-sized one from some Concord and Ninth Sea Glass cardstock which is this lovely aqua colour, pale aqua. And then I'm taking the Concord and Ninth Triple Step Blooming Heart die which has this lovely stitched banner and I cut that also from the Sea Glass cardstock. Now it's time to stamp out my sentiment which reads my heart beeps for you and I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink to stamp that down and uh, just stamped it a couple of times to make sure it was nice and crisp. And now I'm using some double-sided foam tape to add the banner, luckily over that bit that I've smeared <laughs> so that you won't see that big smear mark on my uh, pattern paper. <laughs> um, always a good idea to cover those things up. So the banner is literally the same width as the um, background that I'd created but it did take me a few times to get it centered correctly I don't know why I was just having issues 
when I made this card, I'm not sure what was going on. Once I was happy with the placement, I pressed it all down. I then took my little images and my lacy heart and I just used some liquid glue to attach my little images to the heart. So first of all, I'm gonna stick the little flower into the little guy's hand and then I'm gonna pop him onto the left-hand side of the heart and I'm gonna have the little girl robot, I guess, on the right-hand side of the heart. And very unlike me, I'm trying to center him, but then I realized I needed to pull him over a bit because his arm was sticking out too far. So luckily using liquid glue gave me that bit of wriggle room and I could move him a little bit before I was happy with his placement. And then I stuck my little girl down next to him and they both look like they're kind of reaching up and holding the flower, which I thought was quite sweet. So um, once that was done and everything was where it should be, I then just took some double-sided foam tape and attached it to the heart. And then I just popped the heart on the background. Um, quick, easy, simple card today, nothing fancy, um, but I did have a lot of fun playing around with this pattern paper and coloring in these little robots. Um, and like I say, it was good fun to find the Heffy Doodle group on Facebook and play along with their challenge. Um, I'm looking forward to getting my new sets so that I can do some more challenges with them in the future. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one today. I realize it's a very simple and straightforward card. And as I say, probably not my best work, but you know, I'm a, it's okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's just about having a bit of fun. So the um, last thing to do was to attach that panel onto a top folding A2 size card base at five and a half by four and a quarter inches. And that was also from the same sea glass cardstock from Concord and Ninth. And that's it, card done. Um, let me know what you think. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please do subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back here again. Thank you so much for joining me today. Take care.